What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about what happened on this uh, previous episode of Monday Night Raw. Uh, shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream reactions that we did on Monday uh, Night Raw as well. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Y'all make those three hours that much more bearable, when, especially during the down moments of the show so we appreciate everyone that was part of the live stream reactions on the in the clutch page uh but we got to talk about the most noticeable thing the thing that they have been building up actually for a while now and that is drew mcintyre finally turning heel and boy oh boy we've been waiting on it they've been building it up very well in my opinion and it hasn't just been no immediate turn and it makes sense from his standpoint, Drew McIntyre has been on the other side of the fence, on the, the bad side of things when it has come to the bloodline and how he's been screwed out of winning the championship and beating Roman Reigns because of the bloodline. And when uh, Jay Uso came over to Monday Night Raw, obviously Drew was not happy about it. And I like that that decision made some other implications from another wrestler him going to monday night raw actually changed another person's perspective on things because he was there and drew's issue is him not really forgiving uh jay for what he's done and not trusting him and not wanting to let let things go let bygones be bygones everyone else is kind of you know getting to that point of letting bygones be bygones, but not Drew. He's been steadily on that path. He's steadily been on that, on that. Uh, I guess you could say, that mindset of you can't trust anybody that was a part of the bloodline. Look at what they've done to us for these past couple of years. And I like that perspective. He didn't just turn into a uh, turn heel because he just felt like being bad. He didn't want to be the good guy no more. He changed his character and perspective because of what he's been through for the past few years. Plus, just from a uh, a fan standpoint, Drew has lost a lot of like momentum. Like, of course, the fans still love him and appreciate him, but it, it hasn't been the same since he had the world championship uh, during the pandemic era. It hasn't really been the same since he was feuding with the bloodline. He had a lot of momentum behind him, so. This character change that's been slowly, gradually help, uh, like getting to that point has been much warranted and refreshing. And once again, it made sense. He wasn't doing things just to be evil. His mindset is justifiable. Then they start sprinkling in him and Rhea Ripley getting involved and Rhea trying to basically get uh, um, Drew McIntyre to come over to the judgment day and kind of align themselves together you know Rhea Ripley's over here being the mouthpiece just whispering in his ear just planting the seeds and Drew not being someone to just jump to the dark side he hears what she's saying but he's still kind of doing his own thing and I think the tipping point became at a uh, crown jewel when he didn't beat Seth Rollins and I like that they even mentioned that tonight they they kind of <laughs> brought that up because if you remember at Crown Jewel he didn't win he went to the back he was kind of upset and Rhea just looked at him and shrugged and went on to have her match they've had conversations before you know and, and they had been teasing maybe he's gonna enlist the judgment day to help him but Drew was like no nah, I can do it on my own and he wasn't able to get the job done so tonight, he sees Seth Rollins in the back. And it looked like they're setting up something like maybe he will turn on him. But that didn't even happen tonight. He just shook his hand. He said, I should have did this a long time ago. He shook his hand. And that was it. But you knew they were saving something for later on in the show with Drew McIntyre. You knew he was going to get involved in some form of fashion. It may not be against Seth. But he did show his true colors eventually. So the whole theme really tonight, it just came down to Adam Pierce trying to control things before a war game. So Adam Pierce decided to pretty much kick everyone else that's involved in the war games match and not involved in the main event out of the arena. He didn't want no shenanigans. 
He told them, you can't be a part of this. I'm kicking you out of the arena, right? So you knew there was going to be some type of shenanigans, but obviously it wasn't going to be somebody from Judgment Day Kip because they can't because they're already gone. And it wasn't going to be anybody from the baby uh, face side of things. So you kind of knew they were going to, they were alluding to something with Drew McIntyre. And when the match happened, of course, there's a segment or a part where um, Jay is outside the ring after he did a dive um, to Damian Priest and Finn Balor. And he's gaining some momentum while Cody's is selling, you know, being hurt. And he looks up and there you see Drew McIntyre staring a hole through Jay, attacks him, throws him in the ring, and pretty much gave uh, Judgment Day the win there. Now, at that immediate moment, once again, he only attacked um, uh, Jay Uso, and the ref didn't see it. So he only attacked him, or whatever the case may be. And it was one of those things where it's like, maybe he's he, he's definitely more on the healer side, but he hasn't went full heel it wasn't until he stood at the top of the ramp then Rhea Ripley comes out right beside him holds out her hand and he shakes her hand and they're standing at the top of the ramp together and it was official Drew is now definitely a heel he has aligned himself with the judgment day and he helped them retain the championships even though he's technically not involved in the War Games match yet, so he could actually do that and not get in trouble. And of course, he's going to be added to the match, I'm sure, but that was their loophole or how we're going to save, help these guys out without getting in trouble with Adam Pierce. Well, she went and enlisted, enlisted the help of Drew McIntyre like she's been trying to do for the past couple of weeks to get him to really help each other out so I, i'm loving what they've done with drew's character i'm very interested to see his explanation of things on next week's uh episode of raw i believe that's the uh go home show for uh war games uh, survivor series war games so it's gonna be very interesting to see how things play out of course a lot of the speculations going into war games is uh if drew's gonna be on the judgment day side of things which is looking like that then a lot, a lot of the speculation as of late has been Randy Orton helping out on the uh, on the babyface side of things, which I think a lot of people are looking forward to. In fact, there's a clip I posted on my Twitter uh, after this episode of Monday Night Raw went off the air. Cody was talking in the ring. He said, "You know what? I know some. I got some friends that I know too. You know, I got some people." That can help me out. And you all you heard was the crowd chanting Randy, Randy, Randy. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how things play out. Um, but the if the reports and rumors are correct, Randy Orton may be their their fifth member to help even the odds because right now they're outnumbered. So we're gonna see how things play out going forward. But ultimately, I'm glad. They finally have pulled the trigger with him being a heel. And the question is, what, how things are going to play out now? Because I do feel like the Drew versus uh, Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship, that, that whole program, I think we can take it to another gear now. If Drew has aligned himself as a heel, I think things could get even more interesting because I'm sure... Drew's going to get a l even more ruthless and aggressive when it comes to taking down Seth Rollins and becoming a new champion. And maybe with the help of Judgment Day, that can be something of reality. You know, it can be a, the, the, the classic line. If you can't beat him, join him. Drew maybe finally realized it's better to have people to have your back because the bloodline has been doing it for so long. I might as well do it to get what I need as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see what they do. Um, but comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Drew finally turning heel. Are you looking forward to what he does as a heel? And do you think Randy Orton is going to be that fifth partner for the baby faces side of things at War Games? A lot of people think that's the case. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speed of YouTube. Wrestling Jump of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.